Eric Mother's mother dot com. Let's take a look at TAN, the solar ETF. We can see here an intraday high, 52 week high on the daily. Yet we continue seeing potential for resistance based on the two observations that we had seen recently. We have this line here, which was the line of the highs there. And we had that substantial pullback in the solar space. We take that information of that line break. And even as the prices are moving higher on the daily, we've already seen one instant of resistance. So the more we continue seeing resistance on this line, the uniformity resistance line, the more we can start anticipating a pullback. Otherwise, the only way we can see sustained higher prices is if we can move above what has been resistance level and this blue line so happens to be around that critical RSI level of 69.1. So if bulls want to push this beyond current price levels, they would have to take out the line of resistance. Now this is the daily. Now take a look at the hourly and we can see the hourly continues to give us that negative divergence in that we see an improvement intraday hour to hour but we continue seeing this line of resistance. And as long as we are seeing this negative divergence continue to emerge on the hourly, this is also indicating to us that it makes more sense as long as we continue seeing resistance to continue anticipating that the next major swing trade is for lower prices unless and until we see the market move above this RSI declining line. So we obviously see the visual challenges in terms of the RSI. If the market is unable to move above those two resistance lines on the daily and on the hourly, we can expect a pullback as far as solar names are concerned. Eric Moab with Mother.com looking at the implications of resistance and negative divergence. Peace and blessings. E-A-C-S.